is bullshit. I asked for the name as a rock soundtrack. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining me in my battle against sobriety. Yeah. It's a tough one, but I'm gonna make it. <laughs> so you probably noticed that I am very tall. And when you're very tall, people always ask me the same question. Hey, do you play basketball? I tell them no, but I do smoke a lot of pot. <laughs> My girlfriend gets on me all the time about smoking pot. She says, make me, makes me mature and told me back. <laughs> and we ended up getting a real big fight about it. She told me I had to quit. So I gathered up all my willpower and I broke up with her. <laughs> I recently lost 35 pounds. So let me know if you find my kid. I don't actually have kids, probably. I will someday, I just have to get around the sound with my van on. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been back here with the toilets. There's one male bathroom with the lady that's been taped over and no lock on the door. And then two women's bathrooms. But the men's bathroom is pretty cool. They got that really cool novelty toilet. It looks just like a real functioning sink. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, I think I shit the sink. <laughs> Sorry, bartender lady, for cleaning that up. <laughs> Did anyone, anyone ever go on the internet? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm 30, which means I was an adolescent in the 90s, which means that uh, at one point I existed before the internet did, and that shit will never happen again. That's how powerful the internet is. And pre-internet, that shit really sucked. Does anyone remember having to call the movie theater to ask what time the movie started? <laughs> no one calls anyone anymore. You know why? Because it's fucking stupid. <laughs> Last year, according to a Google statistic that I just made up, <laughs> Google answered over 100 billion queries. 100 billion questions in one year. Who the fuck was answering 100 billion questions in one year before the internet? Yeah. Fucking none, buddy. That's you. <laughs> So, you know, give it, to, give it three years, folks. I got a hot tip. That in 2016, they're going to introduce the iBrain. And it's a microchip that you're just going to install right to your skull. And it's going to allow you to download the entire goddamn internet straight to your head. And so, you're going to buy the shit and put it in, and you get this massive flood of information in like three seconds. And everyone's going to have the same exact reaction. So you turn that shit on because it comes with the switch. This information just comes in like... Wow, that's a lot of cum. <laughs> Do you remember the days of porn before the internet? Ask yourself. Scramble TV. Scramble TV, that's right. So that shit took talent to decide who's going to elbow in the TV. <laughs> Ask yourself, on average, how many friends had porn before the internet? Luckily, I've done the math. It's one in eight. And one in eight friends means that you're passing around the same damn spongy magazine every day of the week, and twice in one day of that. But you may have been one of the lucky ones whose dad or older brother had their own magazine stash or the coveted VHS tape. And if that was the case, you were truly blessed. Now let's just say that you did have one brother with the VHS tape. You were to embark on a very important milestone in life. You were to begin your training as the master ninja baby. Let me explain. Your training began as soon as you got off of school. Because you knew it was Thursday, and your mom was working late. Because she's working two jobs, because she's divorced. Because it's the 90s, and that's what parents did apparently. <laughs> so, you run home, you run up to your big brother's room, he's in high school, so he can get off till 3.30. And you grab that VHS tape out of, the, out of his drawer, you run back downstairs, and you pop that shit for the VCR, take your pants off, and you nestle up on the couch in that one spot that kind of always smells like ass. 
Now, most people in 1995 had one television and one VCR. It was in the living room, and there was an absolutely horrible selection of escape routes. <laughs> so, <laughs> in that situation, you have your senses heightened almost to like a freaky level. <laughs> I'm gonna use this. So you're sitting there and you're like,
if they sound kind of like when you pick a puppy, then it's real. <laughs> but the best way to tell is to just not give a shit. <laughs>